Stitchers, hope you are well. It's Jenny of Jenny Stitches here and I'm here this week to have a chat to you about the things that I have been sewing recently. Um, it's been a while since I last posted a mix video. Um, I think it was before I moved into my new premises and sample sewing took over for the window displays and things um, but I have been sewing for myself sort of in the background. If you follow me on Instagram you might have seen a few things that I've been working on. But I thought I'd try and give you a little bit more of an up-close look at those makes here. Um, I've got a new mug today. I've had some personalised branded mugs done for the shop, so I feel very posh tea today. So, yeah, I don't think I've actually shown you any makes since around May time. Um, and I had a plans video and I've completed some of those plans and some of them I haven't. So straight in with this little dress. It's kind of hard to fit dresses into the camera, which is a Poppy and Jazz pansy dress. I will pop the pattern cover up here for you to take a look at. Um, so this is for my daughter and yeah, this is a great little pattern. I've made it twice before. Um, it runs up to, I think from newborn to age six, so it, you get a good span of wear out of that one. Um, I've made this for Juliet in the larger size and there's still plenty of room in it, so I think she can carry on using that pattern for a little while yet. Um, she's very much into ponies and things at the moment, so when she saw this fabric she said, Mummy, I will have a dress in that. So that was me told. I had to run this up, so I'll lift that up a little bit, you can see it there. So just a very straightforward jersey dress. Um, I don't think the pattern comes with short sleeves, but I just stopped where I wanted the short sleeve to be, which is a very easy adjustment to make. It has a little neckband and just a little gabardon skirt. So that's very sweet. And I will pop a picture up here for you of her wearing it, if you haven't seen that one already. So that's number one. And there is definitely a pink theme to these makes which was unintentional I'm not a huge pink fan but there you go okay so the second thing that I've made since we spoke last is this lovely jersey top um, and a few of you commented on this I was wearing it on a IGTV video recently this is the sew over it Edie top from the work to weekend ebook um, and this is the Butterfly House French Terry. I named it Butterfly House because if you've ever been to Lancaster and been to Williamson Park, you'll know beautiful Butterfly House there and that's what it made me think of. Yep, so I will try and get a picture of this on for you. Um, but there you go. I like this pattern. It's my first time working with it and it has an unusual sleeve detail. I don't know if you can make that out there. But you kind of top stitch around the top there and yeah, it's nice. Um, I have got another version of this cut out in navy blue ponte roma, navy blue stripe, sorry. Uh, just waiting to be sewn up, so I need to get on with that soon. But yeah, very nice pattern. I think if I was to do it again, I would probably just take a little bit off the length. Um, these days I like to tuck things in and I just found it a little bit on the long side for my preferences but I am quite short in the body so yeah I would probably take a couple of inches out and then that was easier to tuck into pants and skirts and things okay so following that I made this lovely skirt and it's just going to escape me which pattern number it is pink again <laughs> This is, I'm going to say it's New Look 6483, but if I am wrong, I will write it across the bottom. So I will lift that up to show you. Um, and this is a blend of linen and viscose, and it was the Peony linen viscose blend. And I've used the little, let's hold it right up there, wooden buttons on the front. And yeah, so it's <laughs> kind of hard to show you there. Again, I will try and pop a picture in of it full length. Um, but I've gone for the longer length on the pattern with this one. It's very airline, very sort of 70s vibes. I really, really like it. It's so comfortable and flattering. Whilst I was sewing it up, I just, you know, when you're just unsure, you think, 
I'm not sure if that's really gonna suit me, if I'm gonna like wearing it, and then I wore it for the first time and I just love it, it's, it's gorgeous. I'd quite like to remake this pattern, but in a heavier fabric, maybe a more like a cord or a denim, something more winterized. So it's a very good basic style. I'll see that color there. But yeah, very pleased with that one and, and a solid addition to the summer wardrobe. Um, sadly, there is no more of this fabric available now. So, and I think it's out of stock with my supplier. So, sorry about that. Okay, um, I will just get the next one. Okay, so apologies if the camera looks a little bit different here. My video camera battery just decided to die, which is helpful. So I've had to switch to my phone. So I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> anyway, um, the next mech that I've got to show you is the Tilly and the Buttons Sky Sundress. Um, here it is. This is was released um, a month or so ago now, and it's a really lovely easy breezy kind of beginner friendly sundress um it's for lightweight wovens um so things like viscose cotton cotton lawn nice straightforward woven fabrics to work with um i have used the palm grove viscose here um i will pop in a full length picture for you um unfortunately this fabric is now out of stock um I've restocked it a couple of times, but now we're going into autumn and winter. It's unlikely to stay in. Um, it has pockets. Pockets. Um, and yeah, it's just very, very comfortable. Um, I was unsure about it at first, given that it's like an empire line. So I didn't know if it would have that kind of maternity kind of feel to it. But fortunately, it, to be honest, if it does, I don't think I really care because it's just very, very comfortable. Um, the only thing I would change if I was to do this again, I'll just try and show you inside the bodice, um, you face it with bias binding. So you've got the option on the pattern of either using pre-bought bias binding or making a self bias. Um, I chose to make a self bias just because I think it's got a nice finish and actually making bias binding is quite therapeutic, quite enjoyed that. And it's a good way to use up your scraps. Um, however, I think it would be just as easy to cut another front and back bodice and just self line this and turn it out through the shoulder as it would to go to all the trouble of putting bias tape around that neckline and around that armhole. It's quite a lot of work and it's quite fiddly and it tends to result in a fair few burnt fingers. So um, yeah, if I was to do it again, I think I would do that just to make it a little bit simpler. But overall, another lovely pattern. I've gone for the full length option, as you can see from the picture. Very comfy. Yep, just I don't know if we're going to have the weather for wearing it for much longer, really. Okay. So finally, no, not finally, there's two more. <laughs> there's the one I'm wearing. <laughs> so this is... Um, a Tilly and the Buttons indigo dress. Um, now I've got a bit of a checkered relationship with the indigo dress. Um, I made it in probably February 2020 um, from a viscose and when I put it on I didn't like it on me. <laughs> um, everyone that I've seen it on it looks great and then I put it on me and I just didn't like it. I prefer things that are cinched in at the waist um, and it's it is a, a loose smock sort of pull on style and I just felt it I just didn't feel right in it which is fine um so I, I left it to sulk at it in my wardrobe for a few months as you do um and then I decided to put some waist ties on it and hem it and just wear it anyway because I thought well I may as well wear it and then I discovered after one or two wears, actually, I really liked wearing it and I felt very comfortable and absolutely fine in it. And putting the ties on certainly made a difference to that kind of styling around the waist. So I wanted to have another go. I'd seen a few gingham indigos pop up and I've got some lovely customers that have made them in gingham and it sold me to give it another whirl. Um, so this time I purchased the um, 
digital add-on pack from Tilly's website and you get a whole bunch of little add-ons for the pattern in there. So I used the short sleeve add-on and I put the midi tear frill on, which you'll see when I pop a picture in. Um, and I also did the bottom back. So there was quite a few more sort of techniques in this one. I've used a straight size four and the only adjustment that I made this time, which made quite a big difference, was to take half an inch narrow shoulder adjustment. And there's actually a great tutorial on Tilly's website on how to either widen or narrow the shoulders, which I found really useful. But yeah, so this version, I absolutely adore. And again, I've put waist ties on the back and it's and it's just another nice little feature, but it is seriously, seriously comfortable. Um, I've used black quarter inch gingham, which is still in stock now. Um, but yeah, and I think it's a really good piece that's just gonna carry me through sort of late summer into autumn because it's long I can get away from wearing it a bit longer I think I could probably wear tights and boots with this quite comfortably and put a cardigan on the gingham itself was beautiful to work with um just really nice and crisp and easy to sew and um it's actually it's quite heavy it's quite a, a firm weight so although it drapes nicely it's quite warm so I think it's got quite a good bit of potential to get into, into autumn so yeah overall I'm really pleased with how it turned out um, and I would absolutely make it again so it's kind of funny how you can get a make and then end up on a bit of a journey with it and yeah does anyone else just sulk at things because I definitely sulk at things and then come back to them and wonder what the problem ever was okay that was a really big mouthful of tea the last one that I have to show you is a special make. So um, it was my cousin's wedding in August. Yes, August. <laughs> I think my short term, -term memory is suffering today. Uh, and this wedding has been rescheduled probably three times due to COVID. Um, so yeah, it was lovely to finally see Mike and Rachel get married and Obviously I had to make a dress to attend because that's what you do. <laughs> um, and the expectation is there now. And everyone says to me, oh, did you make the dress? And I'm like, uh, no, <laughs> but <laughs> no. So I did this time. Um, I've had my eye on this particular pattern for a while and it is Simplicity 8637. I've often admired it in the catalog. I did consider at first I was going to make the sew over at eve dress and I think I put that in my make nine video that that was my plan but I kind of fell in love with this one in that it has the frill around the bottom so this is very similar to the eve it doesn't have the fluted sleeve it has a sort of plainer sleeve um but yeah it's got the frill around the bottom so um I had a bit of fun and games with the fitting on this pattern um, I nearly always wear, make and wear a 14 in big far patterns, which doesn't correspond with my measurements, um, which makes no sense at all. But experience has taught me that a 14 nearly always fits. But this time I decided to go with my measurements. I made a size 16, which was more in line with my bust and waist measurements. Um, so actually at first I twirled the 14 and it was, it just felt too small. So then I twirled the 16, which felt great. However, it was gaping at the neckline a bit as wrap dresses can do. So I used a tutorial on the By Hand London website on how to eliminate the gape, which was really effective. So I was happy with my second twirl, third twirl. <laughs> and then I sewed it up finally um, in my final fabric and it fit fine but i would say that overall it was just a little bit too big still so i've definitely got some work to do there somewhere i think although my measurements tell me one thing i am quite petite in terms of my frame around my shoulders and my upper body isn't isn't very big so <laughs> i don't know it's a bit of a fitting conundrum um so it's something to keep working on. However, I was happy with the finished dress, which I will show you now. Okay, so here she is. Um, again, it's kind of impossible to fit this much dress in on the screen. Um, 
but yep i've used the summer dream cotton lawn for this one um i just fell in love with this fabric as soon as i saw the sample it's yeah it's pink roses it's me so um and i've lined the bodice using just plain white cotton lawn because i didn't want to put in an acetate lining on a really lovely breathable dress sewing wise it was just a dream to sew up lawn if you haven't worked with it it's just beautiful everything lines up it's nice and well behaved so i was really really happy with how it came together um so i will put a picture in of me wearing it um, I got my husband to take some nice pictures on the day, um, but it felt lovely, it was comfortable, it was breathable because it was very warm. Um, yeah, I could just do it somewhere else to go to wear it again now. So, <laughs> um, so I hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any questions about any of the things that I've made, please pop me a, in the comments below. Um, I'll leave a link to all the patterns and any of the fabrics that I've used that are still in stock. There's still a little bit of the Summer Dream cotton lawn left and um yeah that dress is just it's just so nice i was so pleased with it so and it's really nice when people ask you where you get your dress like i made it myself <laughs> so so i hope you enjoyed that if you did please do like and subscribe you can catch me on social media as always um and i will be back soon possibly with another fabric focus and um, possibly with kind of a mix plans um Mum and I have been busy this week trying to get the autumn windows set up. So there'll be an autumn window display tour to come. So let me know what you want to see next. If you've got any preferences, let me know in the comments and I will catch you soon. Have a lovely weekend. Take care and happy sewing. Bye bye.